Hello people out there in YouTube land. I'm making this video for all those people that like to tinker. Kind of a retired aerospace machinist, but very into music. So I want to take this MXL model 991 microphone and I'm going to modify it. There's an amazing company out there, microphoneparts.com, that makes some exceptional kits and components to make this simple microphone into an absolutely great microphone. So I wanted to make a video showing how to disassemble this to take some of the mystery out. Uh, it's a simple design. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is observe it, look at it, check it out. As you notice here, I put some tape on here. The reason for that, in the aerospace industry, you want to replicate assembly and disassembly of components the way they put together because you know MXL they put this together their way you kind of want to take it apart and put it back together the way they do it so without knowing that this is an old technique you mark things so you know exactly how they come apart so if you notice there's a screw here at the back end of the mic and there's one here on the other side so I put these two little pieces of tape on there and put dots on it so I can actually know how it comes apart and reassemble it the same way. How you take it apart is the capsule just screws on. It's very simple. All you got to do is unscrew it. Microphoneparts.com have several different types of capsules, different configurations like omnidirectional and cardioid and I think super cardioid. Anyway, I'm going to be replacing this capsule with their component. How it works is one contact is the body, the other contact is this little pin, and it makes contact with that pin there and it's spring-loaded. So that's how that works. Place that off over to the side. The next thing you want to do is you see these holes here. Well, they're screws, they're really small screws, so you have to take a jeweler screwdriver and you screw them into the body, not out. And then you do one side and you do the other side. And then that's just how the body comes apart. It's that simple. If it doesn't come out easily, it's probably because the screws are not all the way into the body. It's a simple design. There's your circuit board and the components. Uh, the kit will completely replace all these components, the circuit board and the stuff inside it. It's very simple. It's got some screws here that hold it together on this end and that end. On this particular microphone, I'm seeing that I won't have to modify the slots here uh, at the microphoneparts.com. I guess apparently some of these microphones you have to make either the circuit board thinner or you have to open up these grooves a little bit bigger. So there's the uh, taking all the mystery out of this. There is the microphone. So for assembly sake, all you would do is after you got all the components together like this, you just simply slide the body back onto the internal components, line up your dots or the way you marked it, and you would screw these screws back out on both sides and then that would be assembled. Then you just take the original capsule or your new capsule. And here's another tip. This is a very small thread, precision thread. You don't want to force this on here. You want to line it up and gently just feel it. If it doesn't go on really easy, take your time. This is not a race to get this thing together. It should go on real easy. If it's not, that's probably telling you that the thread engagement is not aligned. You want to make sure it goes on nice and easy. It's very easy to damage a fine thread. So you just snug it in and that's it. That would be the assembly of your microphone. In the other videos, I'll show what I'm going to be doing on the inside and I'll have a final video putting the a higher quality component capsule on the end. 
So there you go. That's the assembly and the disassembly of the MXL Model 991 microphone. Stay tuned.